Hi Tracy fans and Real Fanners, it's Maurice X Productions here with another video. And today I will be talking about the Seven Train Hudson Yards Extension Project. If videos such as this pique your interest, why not consider supporting the channel via the links in the description box down below and clicking the subscribe button and liking the video. Now let's head right into this video. On December 12th, 2006, the mayor at the time, Michael Bloomberg, proposed that the Hudson Yards expansion project was on the horizon after $2.4 billion, which was allocated from taxes of New Yorkers, was going to be put to use via the project. In October of 2007, the MTA was awarded a $1.145 billion contract to build 7,000 feet of twin tube tunnel from the existing Times Square terminus to the then planned shell new terminus of the 7 train 34th Street Hudson Yards station. In February of 2009, the first TBM's tunnel boring machines started to get to work on these tunnels. These two machines will dig 7,100 foot long tunnels north along 11th Avenue to 11th Avenue and 41st Street. On December 21st, 2009, the MTA announced that a TBM broke through the 34th Street Hudson Yards station cavern wall. Almost a year later, on July 15th of 2010, both TBMs completed their tunneling operation which meant that the construction was about 45% completed after the TBMs were lifted up to street level. After that, the MTA started to cover the tunnels. And also with that, the MTA announced that the platform and mezzanine of the Hudson Yard station was 85% complete. In May of 2012, the MTA announced that the project was 65% completed and have received the installation of the first set of rails It was almost completed. About a year and a half later, in August of 2013, the MTA announced that the extension was 90% complete, with the mayor of New York taking his ceremonial ride to the new terminal on December 20th of 2013. Also at that ceremonial event, he proposed that the project was on track for a June 2014 opening, about less than a year to opening from his ceremonial event. Any other New York City project, it was delayed. So long after his announcement, the project was facing delays with the opening of November of 2014 and then pushed to February of 2015. And this came due to the problems with the inclined elevators at the 34th Street Hudson Yards station. And the delays didn't stop there. It was announced by the New York Post that the station's safety features was also having problems and foundations above the station still needed to be poured before an open date could be set. And with all that said, the project was delayed again to summer of 2015. Finally, on June 1st, 2015, an MTA representative described the extension as 99% complete. And on that same day, test runs of the seven trains started running to 34th Street Hudson Yard Station, which will become the new southern terminus of the 7 line when opened. But on June 15th, the extension opening date was delayed once again. And for about a month, we didn't hear nothing about an opening date to the 7 line extension. But finally, on July 20th of 2015, the opening date was set and it was September 13th of 2015. This opening date will conclude all seven trains service being extended to the 34th Street Hudson Yards station. Now, similar to other MTA projects, there was proposals that was never built. And one of these proposals are the 10th Avenue station. A 10th Avenue station was proposed to be a part of the extension plan. But due to the cost overruns of this extension, it would put the $2 billion over budget. So that left the MTA with a choice to cut the project, leaving only one station to be built. Officials kept pushing for a 41st Street, 10th Avenue station, even with the RFP request for a proposal. That's how much they wanted the station to be built. But this included a feasibility study on the station. After the feasibility study was announced, the station cost would roughly be about $1 billion to build. 
and at the time with the proposed opening date of mid-2021. Even to this day, elected officials keep pushing for the station's construction. With the price hike of about $900 million, the project keeps becoming less of a topic of conversation for the MTA, with a now hefty price tag of $1.9 to $2.1 billion in 2024. But that wasn't the only project that was proposed but never built. The Secaucus Junction extension was also supposed to be a part of the 7 train extension. In 2010, the New York Times reported that Mayor Michael Bloomberg's administration has been considering a extension to Hoboken and Secaucus Junction in New Jersey. Allowing a smoother commute to the Grand Central Terminal and better other subway transit connections. But like every other project, it needs funding. And it was a competition between the recently announced proposed Gateway Project and the Seven Train to Secaucus Junction Extension Project. After the fight of $15 million for studies for the project, in April of 2012, the MTA cut their losses and said that it would have to be in consideration for a foreseeable future project. In 2017, a further extension of the seven line to New Jersey was suggested once again as an alternative to the proposed Port Authority bus terminal project. The proposal will include a new terminus at the caucus junction with connection to NJ Transit and possibly Amtrak and other inner city trains to the seven train. Even nine years later after its opening, the talks amongst elected officials about adding to the seven train extension is still talked about to this day. And if this can be built, it will be one of the most important infrastructure pieces of the New York City subway, making it more and more accessible to people and serving the people of New York and hopefully one day of New Jersey. All right, transit fans and reference, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoy making this video for y'all. If videos such as this pique your interest, why not consider supporting the channel via the like and subscribe button and also, also checking out all of our links down below. Now, without further ado, I will see y'all in the next one. This is Maurice X Production signing out. Bye, transit fans.